Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Josh, and today we're going to take a look at the proposed C Sharp 7 features. So the features that we're going to look at today are available on the Futures branch up on the Roslyn GitHub repo. Um, it's a bit of a pain to get everything up and running. There's a bug that prevents you from sort of passing a compiler flag in and enabling these features. So I'll put together a short video on how I got this running by essentially commenting out a bunch of checks in, in the compiler to finally get it working. Um, so I guess we can jump right into it. The feature we're going to look at today is uh, almost certainly going to be in the next version of C Sharp. It's binary literals. Um, so if you've written you know, any code at all, you're more than familiar, familiar with the fact that you can use uh, decimal literals, just assign you know, a number from the base 10 system to a variable, uh, nothing too fancy. Um, you're probably also familiar with the fact that you can use uh, hexadecimal literals. So we can use this 0x prefix and ex assign the hexadecimal value 10 to this variable. But we can also uh, assign like ff to that variable as well. And it's just essentially a more convenient way of interacting with a different base system. So now we've got the ability to um, work with binary. So we can go 0b and then we can do like 1 or 0. So we could do like the max u short value. 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's 16 on bits. And this is the maximum value for an unsigned short. And you may have noticed that like while I was doing, you know, writing those out or if just looking at these, it's kind of hard to tell, um, you know, which digit is which. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Well, now in uh, the next version of C Sharp, there's this concept of, uh, what do they call these? Um, digit separators. And, and they just use the underscore to separate out digits. You can do this to make it a little easier to, to group your, your binary literals. Um, but it's also, you know, not uh, restricted to binary. You can also do this in regular decimal literals. So we could, like, for 100 million or something like that, you can space your zeros out. And this can make it a little easier to read the code sometimes. Um, this feature in particular was implemented in just a couple of days by an intern on the Roslyn team uh, last summer. And I think that sort of shows the... Part of the reason they moved to, the, to this Roslyn code base was small changes like this, at least from the outsider's point of view, um, small changes like this, it seemed like they would be kind of a headache to make in that old code base. And now they can have, you know, an intern come in. I think he did this in like two or three days at the most, um, which is really cool and a, a cool project for him. Um, the next feature we're also going to look at was implemented by the same intern, um, and that's local functions. So thanks for watching and, and check out that next video.